Genesis 27 verse 27. The Bible says, and he came near and kissed him, and he smelt the smell of his raiment. And this is what he said, and this is what you want to confess. He said, see, the smell of my son is the smell of the field that the Lord has blessed. In front of your investors, when they show up, there's a fragrance. When they mention your company's name, there is a fragrance. When they talk about your proposal, there is a fragrance. When they're making decision that pertains to you, there is a fragrance. What is the fragrance? The smell of the field that the Lord has blessed. Say three times. Say three times. I have the smell of the field that the Lord has blessed. I have the smell of the field that the Lord has blessed. I have the smell of the field that the Lord has blessed. Shall I receive it? Hallelujah. Please sit down. You know, this is not the time to pray yet. So we're just warming up. One of the things we lack in next level is this. We don't have the opportunity to inspire faith and really teach what we want to pray about. But that's what is available in the turning point service. Look at that. He said, the smell of the field. So, so, so many times in the next level I'll say, say this seven times. People don't know why I say say. They think I'm just trying to get them to talk. The reason why is this. In the things of the spirit, our mouth is our ATM. In the spirit realm, our mouth is our ATM. The same way you take an ATM card and put in the machine and produces you money, the way we withdraw in the spirit is by speaking. That's what the Bible says. With the heart, man believeth. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. So, there are things we pray for. This is no one of them. Because this one, we have it. In Christ Jesus, we have it. It's our inheritance. Because he has blessed us with all blessings that pertains unto life and godliness. So, if we have it, how do we withdraw it? By declaring we have it. Philemon says that your faith becomes effective, operational, and result-oriented by the acknowledging of every good thing in you. That's the first thing. But the second, so we just want to look at the prayer points that we're going to pray. Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5. Solomon was rich, but everybody came around to help him. Think about it. Solomon was exceedingly rich. But everybody was contributing to his wealth. The queen of Sheba came, brought stuff. The king of the south came, brought stuff. But there are people when they have problems, everybody running away from them. Let me, I want to show you in the Bible. Someone that had problems and everybody running away from them. Mark chapter 5 verse 19. The Bible says this. This is when the madman of Gadara, you know the madman of Gadara that was healed? When Jesus had healed him, he told Jesus Christ, let me follow you. Jesus Christ said, however Jesus suffered him not, did not allow him. He said to him, what did he say? My God. So he had friends and he was living in the graveyard. It never occurred to you he had friends. He didn't even touch Jesus, I have no family and friends. No, he said, I know where to go to. But when he had his attack, all the friendship that should support his business deserted him. When he had his attack, all the friendship that should support his product deserted him. And this is the prayer. Give me friends that will stick through and thin. Give me relationships that are born from heaven. Just imagine, you know, think about this. The Bible says that this man, nobody, other people, people brought them to Jesus Christ. This man, nobody brought to Jesus Christ. It was just by almost near spiritual coincidence that he met Jesus. Nobody could even say, let's go and treat him. Maybe they've been trying and it became too much. But when he got healed, he wanted to follow Jesus. He said, no, go and meet your friends. 
You're going to have friends. God is going to give you friends and partnerships that will not be missing in the day of trouble. That when something happens, they will stand and say, a brother is born for the day of adversity. Somebody say, I believe I receive those kind of friendships. Hallelujah. The last one. Just three things you want to pray about. First Corinthians. All of you that want to share with your friends online, go ahead and get your partners to join. First Corinthians chapter 4. Sorry, 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Verse 6. This is Paul speaking. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 6. Let's read together. See, I need to read together so that faith can arise from your spirit. It's one thing for a person to declare over you, but it's another thing when faith is stirred up in your spirit. Let's read together. I want to go. I have planted. Father, raise me Apollos, that water who I have planted. <laughs> Are you ready? When I submit a deal somewhere, in that office, raise me an Apollo that begins to water what I planted. When I start a negotiation somewhere, Lord, raise me an Apollo that begins to water it. Can we believe God for this today? Let's stand on our feet. So we're going to start from the first declaration. Psalm 27 verse 27. So this is not a prayer. This is a declaration. You are going to speak it into your life. And let me say speak it. Listen to me. I want to, you know, sometimes when Christians... Let, let me say something. And I thought this maybe last year when I talked about the prayer, prayer series. I said one of the fundamental ways prayer does not work is this. People don't pray specific things. Someone says, and they don't pray specific things because the power of praying for specific things is that it gives you a mental image. It gives you what? A mental image. So when you say, God bless my business, there's no image. There's no image. And the thing is that in the realm of the spirit, until what become image, they're not effective. That's why I say the word I speak to you, they are spirits. So in the word of the spirit, there's a transaction of images. He says, as he spoke to me, the spirit entered me. There was an image that came into your subconscious. Glory to God. So Genesis 27 verse 27. So when the Bible says, I'm the field the Lord has blessed. Don't just say I'm the field the Lord has blessed. What does that mean to you? You need to say, I'm the field the Lord has blessed. And the effect of being the field that the Lord has blessed. So let me give an instance. Let, um, let me give, what's your complaint's name again? No, no, no. The one that you're the co-partner of. What? Okay. Yeah. Money comes. Muddy homes. So you begin to declare, in the name of the Lord Jesus... Muddy home is blessed. It has the smell of the field the Lord has blessed. When people interact with us, our clients, when our investors interact with us, there's so much ease in the conversation because the fragrance of the blessing that makes it easy has gone ahead of us. Because we are blessed, we are able to con conclude with speed the 750 million deal that we have been on. It has happened so fast because the blessing of the Lord is what makes it rich and add no sorrow to it. Because I have the smell of the blessed one. The Bible says the blessing make it rich and add no sorrow to it. Through this business, I come into significant wealth. Without sorrow, without shame and without tears. You are declaring those things. You are declaring. Are you ready right now? Okay, let's go ahead and declare. Let's go ahead and declare. Let's go ahead and declare. I'm going to pray in tongues but you'll be declaring. Joel, join, join me as we pray in tongues. Oh, yes, Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and declare. Go ahead. Yes, 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 yes. My smell is the feel that the Lord has blessed. Oh, yes. My smell is the feel that the Lord has blessed. And my smell is the field that the Lord has blessed. 
the words that people used to describe my life and my business they reflect the blessing they reflect the blessing yes lord in Jesus name we pray declare with me I have the smell of the field that the Lord has blessed I have the smell of the field that the Lord has blessed I have the smell of the field that the Lord has blessed Glory to God. Those of you online, write it in the comment section as we do. The second prayer point is this. It says in 1 Corinthians 3, 7, it says, Paul planted Apollo waters. God gives me the increase. Father, raise me Apollos. You know, many of you, are, some of you are in politics. Raise me Apollos. That will water what I planted. He said, Paul planted Apollo waters, but God gave me the increase. I don't know where you need partnership. You don't know. I don't know why you need some. What does see? <laughs> one of the things that happens when you are water this is two things. Number one, the ground becomes soft for you. Ah, let the ground of let the ground of power sector become soft for me. Let, let, let the ground of real estate let it become soft for me. Let the ground of funding let it become soft for me. That's what happens in watering. He said, Paul planted. Paul says, I'm the one that planted. But Apollo's waters. Are you ready, sir? My father, my father. Raise up Apollo's for my sake. That will water that which I planted. Go ahead and pray, everybody. Go ahead and pray. Let pray to shake it. Go pray to the Zeus to take a part. Bekote neshko veto no rute katata niata Bajike petonde zoko pali Shile kote ne sube ne kaparuta Leti ke pas kote ne berute katata Ye preto koska tane minata tuaske Le prisu kupante shanana Shapito koroti ne sigai Shapata na mancha kaburi katara Sheni ke petonde rote ne gedusia He shine mento priata Ye tele ke tune ne skute ne bring in Jesus name we pray um, I've struggled with getting Schengen visa Schengen visa is the one you do in Europe it's not as if I don't get it but just the way the visa is they give you three months three months, three months so I just really got tired and uh I would just say, but I need this visa too because there are some opportunities for the gospel in that area. And I was, as I was thinking, one day I finish either service or next day, I think it was service or next I'm not sure, I'm just standing outside. One guy just came to, and he's watching right now from Switzerland. He shook me. I said, good afternoon, I said, your first time. He said, my first time, I joined from Switzerland. He said, but um, when I'm in Nigeria now, to see my mom, I just came physically. I said, okay, great. Long and short, what do you do? I work for the UN. Where do you work? I work to Switzerland. I said, oh, I've been... He said, Pastor, will you come to Switzerland just even if it's a vacation or something? I said, I want to come. But all this paper, I said, I know. He said, if I write you a letter from the UN office. He said, from the UN office, I write you a letter. He said, they cannot deny you. You have not even spoken. God has raised up someone that can water. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's what I'm praying for. That Paul planted Apollo waters and God gives the increase. Will you stretch forth your hands towards him? Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Either you are online or you are on site. Take it or you are watching from any of the campuses. Hey, they are watching. She keep put on no break it in this. Paul said that I planted. He said, Apollo water is let me take it. Watering means it to make it easy. That person that will water for you, let the host of heaven raise them in your favor. Let the host of heaven raise them in your favor. Let the host of heaven raise them in your favor. 
in the name of Jesus. Esika pata de konte le skopeta le gite na suza ekitosh kaparuta nina ikrustika tuaski palito kratata ekiatosh katoska. I declare from today when your clients are talking about you, when your colleagues are talking about you, when your injustices are talking about you, the description will be your business is the field that the Lord has blessed. Hey, your description will be the field that the Lord has blessed. Everything that does not represent the blessing in your business, in the name of Jesus, be ejected. In the name of Jesus, be ejected. In the name of Jesus, be ejected. He says, You are the field the Lord has blessed. Where you cannot get to, the fragrance of God's blessing on your business will reach there on your behalf. In the name of Jesus when they're negotiating, when they're having interviews, when they're con concluding Peter and talking about proposal, the summation of the conclusion is that this person is the field that the Lord has blessed. That is your portion. In the name of Jesus, whatever you sell, whatever you do, whatever you buy, whatever transactions you are involved in, I declare from today, you are the field the Lord has blessed. In the name of Jesus, declare over yourself and the field that the Lord has blessed. And the field that the Lord has blessed. And the field that the Lord has blessed. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. Please don't sit down yet. Just stay as you are. I want to do something very prophetic. Lift up your hands towards heaven. And I want you to see yourself as the field the Lord has blessed. I want you to see it. I, I, want, I want you to see it. I, I want this. This is your new reality. I am the field. I'm not the struggling field. I'm not the field they walk, walk, walk and does not produce. I am the field that the Lord has. I want you to see it. I want you to see it. I want you to see it. I want the word of God to form an image in your spirit. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I am the field the Lord has blessed. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I am the field the Lord has blessed. Praise God. I am the field that the Lord has blessed. I am the field that the Lord has blessed. Thank you for doing it for us. Thank you for doing it for us. Thank you for doing it. In our on site and online. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we worship you. When you wake up, just think about it. I'm the field the Lord has blessed.